Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Friday, April 1st, 2022. It is 5.36 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States in Rochester, New York. And this is my coping with schizophrenia blog entry for today. Um, today my paranoia is pretty bad. I think people are following me, spying on me, laughing at me, watching me. I'm talking about me. My auditory hallucinations are pretty intense today. Um, they're telling me that people are following me, spying on me, talking about me, following me, and laughing at me. Um, my depression is pretty severe. My anxiety levels are pretty high. Um, my schizophrenic symptoms are very intense today. Um, Coping the best that I can. I will probably take some Zyprexa later to help calm down my auditory hallucinations and my paranoia. And I'll probably take some Clonopin too and then do some meditation. It seems to help when my psychiatric symptoms get out of control. Um, about seven weeks ago, I started on Cymbalta, which is an antidepressant. Um, for the most part, it's been very effective in controlling my physical pain. Um, I was having muscular skeletal pain, joint pain from arthritis, my back, my knees, things like that. Um, nerve pain. Most of that pain has gone away since I started taking Cymbalta. The only physical pain I'm experiencing now is in my right knee because I have a torn meniscus, it's torn between two places in my knee. I had an MRI done on my knee. Um, I also have a fracture in my femur inside my knee, which did not show up on an x-ray, but it did show up on an MRI scan. I have an appointment with the surgeon this upcoming Tuesday to talk about the possibility of surgery on my right knee to correct the problems that exist in my right knee. Um, the pain in my right knee fluctuates, it goes up, it goes down, it depends on how much I walk on it. I do have to walk on it though because I still have to do things. I still have to go food shopping. I still have to clean my apartment. Um, I still have to do my laundry. I still have to do all the things that everybody does. So I have to walk on this knee. Um, and the pain and the inflammation tends to fluctuate depending on how much I use my knees. Um, my primary care doctor did tell me to stop using my stationary bike for exercise until I see the doctor on Tuesday, the orthopedic surgeon who specializes in knees. Each orthopedic surgeon specializes in a specific part of the body. I have an appointment on April 16th with another orthopedic doctor about my lower back. I have a disc in the lowest part of my back that's pretty much worn down, um, but the orthopedic surgeon for that doesn't want to do back surgery, and I don't want back surgery um, because that could be very debilitating for a very long time, and my back doesn't hurt all that much. So it doesn't justify surgery on my back. Um, I will continue with physical therapy for my lower back, but it looks like there will be a it will be necessary to have surgery on my right knee because I have a torn meniscus and a fracture. Um, having physical problems makes it harder to deal with my schizophrenic symptoms. Over the past 12 months, I've already had two surgeries. One to remove most of my prostate and another one to remove diverticuli in my urinary bladder, which prevented me from urinating normally. I wore a urinary catheter and leg bag for about four months until I had surgery to correct my bladder problems. Um, that problem was resolved, but then I fell down and twisted my knee in the bus and fractured my knee and tore, it, tore my meniscus in my knee. The meniscus is part of the knee that sort of is in between the two bones. It sort of cushions the knee. 
and it can get torn and mine is definitely torn and it hurts the pain tends to fluctuate um, but I didn't want to continue to injure my knee even worse by using the stationary exercise bike so um, I have been using that and I probably won't use it for a while especially if I actually have surgery um, if I do have surgery I'll probably end up back in physical therapy I mean I'm already doing physical therapy exercises for my entire body because I had neuromuscular skeletal pain, nerve pain throughout my body, arthritis pain throughout my body, joint pain, and I started taking Cymbalta for that. Most of that pain has gone away because of the Cymbalta is very effective in controlling that kind of physical pain. Um, I'm not sure what caused the physical pain. Might have been fibromyalgia. Might be something else. I don't know. I didn't get a diagnosis. Um, I'm also taking Neurotin for that pain. And Tylenol and Aleve, and I'm also taking Fluxeril for muscle pain and spasms. So most of the physical pain is under control. Um, I'm just not looking forward to have to have surgery on my right knee. Um, it seems likely that it will have to be done, whether I like it or not. So um, I will be dealing with surgery on my right knee most likely. Um, but other than that, there's not much to report. Um, my anxiety levels are high. My auditory hallucinations are louder and more intense than normal. My paranoia is more intense than normal. My delusions are more intense than normal. Um, when I experience auditory hallucinations, I experience them as voices outside of my head. I hear them like I would hear anyone's voice. I perceive the voices coming from outside of me, and I'm hearing them through my ears. They're not voices inside my head. Um, of course, other people can't hear those voices. Um, but uh, I will take Zyprexa and Clonfin later and meditate, and then take my night meds and see how things go. Like, comment, share, subscribe.